Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I am on with a project share slash video response VR um, for my friend Julie, who is having a challenge giveaway over on her channel. Her channel is at Craft Designs by Julie, and I will link her in the title of this video down below so that you can definitely go check her channel out. Um, she does project shares and she uh, participates in swaps, so um, you can definitely get some crafty inspiration from her channel. She um, is uh, she's celebrating her two-year anniversary here on YouTube, and um, also she is very close to getting a thousand. Uh, getting a thousand subscribers so the challenge kind of covers both of those things that she's celebrating um to enter you just have to be a visible subscriber to her channel um send in a handmade item crafter's choice and she asked for it to be summer celebration halloween or fall themed um optionally uh well, she does want you to send in an ATC with your information on the back, and then it's due by October 31st or until she hits a thousand subscribers, whichever comes, you know, October 31st or maybe a little longer if it takes her longer to get to a thousand subscribers. So, anyways, I have been Halloween crafting, so I, um, that's what I, uh, did my my theme for her challenge entry in i used a combination of the twilight um ephemera here on this card and then luna um ephemera and paper i did double mat this with a black cardstock stitched around with that uh thick black thread that i like using at around halloween time pop this little guy these little pumpkins up on some foam and then added this chipboard sentiment that says happy halloween i will leave it blank but and just write a note on a separate piece of paper so she can reuse the card if she'd like but i was having so listen like crafter's choice challenges really kill me because <laughs> i'm like i sometimes i'm just struggling with what i want to make and um I'm like, just tell me what to make. And <laughs> and I, I know a lot of people like Crafter's Choice, but not me. I want to be told what to make. So anyways, this is what I came up with. I made a mini uh, memory decks version of this um, project for Halloween last year. And so this year I thought I would make the full size version of it versus the memory deck size and um i love how it came out so this is a tutorial by tony who is craft purge here on youtube um i will link if anyone's interested just ask and i will link the tutorial down in the description box so you can check it out so it's like this cute little bookshelf and i did make it out of um, 110 pound white cardstock and then matted with black and with this uh, pink pattern paper. Um, and then there are four little book boxes inside the bookshelf. I decorated the front of the bookshelf here um, with a rosette, a paper rush, ruffle, some ephemera pieces here in the background. I did uh, this little tag here, I did do a little gold eyelet in it just to for some added detail. And then I added this ephemera piece here on top of the rosette. And then, of course, I have some of that black um, mesh there peeking behind everything. I did hang um, a charm on each one of my little books um, with, I, I just uh, punched a hole added the gold eyelet and then uh, used these orange Garmin pins to hang the charms from. So we have a spider web, a spider, a little skull and crossbones, and then this little skeleton guy. I used different pattern papers to um, 
mat these little boxes book boxes and and um and then i added one of these little um stickers to the side like it's the name of the book you know each one um has this little uh velcro closure to keep it closed and inside the first one is my atc card that i created um i did uh cut it out in the white 110 pound cardstock then in black and then i layered um a smaller mat of that pink um pattern paper from the luna collection i added some of that black mesh of course i stitched with that thick creepy looking black thread i used this new dye that i picked up from uh, ks craft on amazon it's the um it's like a cake cloche you know but there's a skull in uh inside of it so if you can see there there's like a little i cut the the cloche part out the the part that's supposed to be glass out in acetate and then layered it over and then the tray there is gold i did cut it out in black glitter and white glitter to have that um nice i like the layered look of that and then we, and then I just rolled these two little uh, flowers, a black and an orange rose, and stuck those on there and called it a day. I did put all my information on the back for her. Oh, and then I finished it off with this little puffy sticker that says 31. <laughs> and that's the first box. In the second box, I made her some flowers. Um... I just used a pink cardstock, um, used my favorite flower plate die from KS Craft, added my little gold metal stamen centers with the little crystal rhinestones there in the center, and called it a day. I believe there's like nine, nine of those in here. So there's that box. In this box, I created some paper ruffles from the different pattern papers uh, of the of the uh, Luna and 31 collection like I know this one's from Luna but this one is from uh, 31 <laughs> not sure about the rest of them though but yeah I just created some little paper ruffles to, for her to use how she wants and in the last one, I have created just these, this really cool, if this is the same rosette that I used here on the front of this um, book shelf box here. You can see the rosette there. This is the same rosette. Um, and so I made her one in pink. And then I made her two in black. And that's all I could fit in there. So <laughs> that's what I am sending Miss Julie for her two-year anniversary slash 1,000 subbies challenge giveaway. She has um, quite a few prizes she's going to give away. I will link that video down in the description box so you can go watch it and find out what the prizes are for yourself. But other than that, that'll do it. Um, that's what I'm going to send miss julie i hope she likes it oh and then i created a little ha haunted house halloween uh label sticker for it so <laughs> there we go um yeah thanks for watching if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i will get back to you other than that have a great day bye